Hello, I'm Favor. I'm Robert. And welcome to Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas cruise vlog series. We are so excited to be on this ship. This morning we had a super fast embarkation and I'm gonna show that to you in just a minute. We are in cabin 12690. So the walkthrough of that will be in this video as well. And we are on a seven day cruise to Western cruise to Roatan, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. And we have excursions at each port. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you what those excursions are because I can't remember. <laughs> In Roatan, we have the Taviana Beach Break. These are all Royal Caribbean excursions. And if you're interested in how much everything costs, how much this cruise cost, how much the internet cost, how much anything and everything that we had to do with this cruise, it'll be listed down in the description box. We are not sponsored in any way by any anything you see in any of these videos for the next seven days uh, are not sponsored. Okay, so we have Taviana Beach Break and in Roatan. Uh, we just got off Ruby Princess and we did a really cool excursion on Ruby wow. Princess, which is also available here on Royal. It's the private overwater bungalows. I'm going to leave that blog listed awesome. right up there. It really is awesome. Um, so I really highly recommend if you're looking for something to do in Roatan, they're limited. So check it out. It's offered on Royal and on Carnival. So you might want to check it out. Okay. In uh, Costa Maya, we're doing the Mexican Salsa Experience and Beach Break. That's right, Robert and I are gonna be doing some salsa dancing. And then in Cozumel, we have the legacy of the Maya ruins and chocolate tasting. So very, very excited. So again, all of those will be listed down in the description box along with their cost. So don't forget to uh, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you will. Uh, subscribing is free. So I'm gonna take you back before they start talking uh, to where we embarked the ship. All right, we'll see you in just a second. And that is this week's ride. Here we go. Hand carrying. Thank you. Wow. We could see those when we were passing it when it was being built. Second floor. All right, you guys, there are elevators if you need them. Let's go get all checked in. I can't use the camera through here, so. All right, we are through security. All of that took like a minute and a half. And here we go. I don't know what we do, but we'll figure it out. Oh, here we ask this gentleman. We go and sit anywhere we want, as close to the front, he said, because they will be calling Emerald very soon. Wow, oh, look at the, look at the, oh, that's so cute. He's playing the drums. All right, hold on. Oh my goodness, we like, <laughs> that, was, that was outstanding. We parked, we walked in, we checked in, we went through security, we went through the little sitting area, and now we're boarding the ship. It's been like eight minutes. Yes. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. That's right. Are y'all ready to go get on this ship? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. I'm so excited. That's wide. Yeah, nice and wide. That is true. All right, almost, almost. Officially on the ship. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah. We'll come this way. Cabins are open at one. It's not even 11 yet. <laughs> We've watched our safety video, which you have now seen. And we have listened to the horn, which you've now heard. And now, or the safety signal, now we are headed straight to our muster station and we will be ready to cruise. Get on the ship and go straight to muster. Muster's all done, took about four seconds. It's only crowded on embarkation day. We are on the embarkation deck of deck five on the promenade. Just be patient, it clears out when the cabin's open, when everybody figures out where they can go and what they can do. But right now we are gonna get a soda. 
We actually got the soda package, both of us, and what we actually purchased was the soda, surf, and stream package. Down in the description box will be all of our costs associated with this cruise, so that's where you will find out how much we spent on everything. So it's down in the description box, so don't forget to check there if you're curious or if you really need to know. Let's go see what Cafe Promenade has. But if you ask, they will have gluten-free cookies behind the counter. So there's the first gluten-free of the cruise. Self-serve coffee and tea over here is included. Coffee over there is an upcharge. So keep that in mind, that is Starbucks coffee that they're using. And if you have a Royal Caribbean coffee card, you can use it here. However, the independent Starbucks station down towards the end of deck five here on the promenade is not included in your coffee card. It's way down there at the end. That is an independent Starbucks. If you have the Starbucks app, it worked for us on Oasis. <laughs> It worked on Oasis, but it did not work on Symphony. So we will try and find out if it works on this ship. Hello, Robert. Hello. And if you're gluten-free like I am, I don't have a choice. I have a food allergy. You can ask behind the counter here. They will have gluten-free cookies for you. Yep. Udi's gluten-free. Snickerdoodle this week. Sometimes it's chocolate chips. Sometimes it's snickerdoodles. But it's the big one. Delicious. So let's head on up to deck six. We'll go look at the... Um, Boardwalk. These are interactive maps. You can click on them to figure out where you need to go. And here is the boardwalk. Once you've been on one Oasis class ship, you can pretty much woo, navigate all of them. So they're pretty similar. There's the doghouse and the carousel. There is the Sabor restaurant. We will be eating there this week. We do have a three package dining package. So that means we have three separate dining adventures at any of the upcharge restaurants. I don't recommend you use Johnny Rockets because it is a a la carte pricing and it just isn't worth it to use one of your dining package meals on Johnny Rocket. The Sabor, definitely can't wait to eat there. Everybody checking in for their muster, like good cruisers. And here is one of our favorite spots. This is the Aqua Theater. This is so much fun to see this show. It is a do not miss for sure. Uh, lots and lots of entertainment back here. Usually lots of tightrope walking and acrobatics and aerial acrobatics. It's amazing. Oh yeah, Ruby's right, look at her right through there. We just disembarked her. If you've not seen those cruise vlogs, I will leave them linked for you right up in the description box and in an iCard. Look at her. We are so excited that one of these big, major Royal Caribbean ships is here in Galveston. What is it? A zip line. Oh yeah, there's a zip line. I don't know, we'll see. I, so far I've been super chicken and haven't been willing to do it. We got so busy doing other things we forgot to go pre-order for dinner. So we're gonna go do that now. So back down to deck five, into the promenade to find where we need to pre-order. Then we're gonna go up to deck eight and see the Central Park. So, which is one of my most favorite places on the ship. When you first get on this ship, get in the app, get connected to the internet. You do not have to have an internet plan to use the app. Just connect to Royals, Allure of the Seas or whatever Royal ship you're on connect to their specific guest internet, and then begin booking your reservations. I recommend you get your dining reservations booked if you're going to, if you have any time dining, go ahead and, and book your reservations. If you have um, specialty dining, get those booked and book the shows. So especially on a ship this size, you wanna make sure that you can get through the doors. <laughs> You want to make sure that you book your specialty dining or um, your shows and things like that pretty early after getting on the ship. So that way you're sure to get in times and you can see everything. Don't miss the ice show. In this case, we have Mamma Mia. Don't miss Mamma Mia. Great shows. Don't miss the ice show. Don't miss the water show. You got to do them all. So we spoke with Slim. We're all squared away. And uh, we're going to go see him tonight in the dining room. And we'll get all hooked up. So let's 
take a look in the casino while we can since nobody's really in there and it's not open yet. Oh, triple double blazing sevens. That's a fun one. If you have been watching me, you know my favorite game is right there. Quick hits, that is my game. So we used to really only play very little in the casino. And as of late, we've been donating a little bit more, $150, $200. Normally it's, you know, 25, 30 bucks, but um, we've just been having a little more fun. So there's some more quick hit machines. We do like to do the max bet, uh, a bit buck 50. See, that's a max bet, $1.50. That's, that's where we like to keep it. So let me show Robert. <laughs> Did you hear Robert? The problem with the $1.50 machine ends up costing us more. Now we're gonna head up to deck eight. I think this embarkation day vlog might get a little long. <laughs> Normally I try and keep them a little short, but I think this one's gonna get a little long. It's a big ship, lots to see and lots to do. Here we are, the best deck on the ship. Central Park. That's where the Rising Tides Bar will be. It is currently down or moving up, whichever. Awesome. And the plants out here are living, breathing plants. Amazing. You can tell there's been a freeze. Um, the ship was here in Texas uh, a couple of weeks ago when we had that Arctic blast and it was like 12 degrees outside. Actually, it was eight degrees. Um, so you can tell the plants sort of suffered from that. Oh, how sad. Well, they're doing their best to bring them back. We've got some poinsettia here. So, oh, those are pretty. Look at those. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see this lit up at night. Oh my goodness, they had so much damage from the freeze. That's so sad. There is Park Cafe, one of my most favorite restaurants on the uh, ship. Here you can get snacks, it is included. You can get snacks. In the morning they have bagel bars and sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches. And there is a coffee bar over here. There is the au jus roast beef sandwiches. Different options here. Here's the coffee shop and you can see you can come in and get desserts and cookies. Lovely. And here's a little bit closer. This is, I love to come in here and get the Waldorf salad. There it is, right there. That's one of my favorites. And the little sandwiches. And if you ask, they will make you a gluten-free sandwich if you need to be gluten-free. So there's Giovanni's table. Vintage uh, wine is this way. The Portrait Studio, Park Cafe, which is delicious. And then of course, here are the, oh, where are we? Central Park balconies. Here we are on deck 15 for the pool decks. And you can look straight down and see Central Park down there. It's such a great view. Do not forget to come up here on the pool decks and look at the ship at night. It's absolutely beautiful. All the lights and everything, it's gorgeous. Don't miss it. Well, it's a little chilly to be swimming today, but there's pools on both sides, this side and that side. And then you cross under the bridge and there's a pool on the other side. It's the kids section over there. So there you go. Nice shallow pools, fun places for the kids to play. This is an odd pool. I can't quite figure this one out. It's got a current to it. And it's just like a, a four or five, it's four feet deep plunge pool type thing. Weird, I don't know. Maybe it has a specific purpose, I don't know. All right, let's work our way around. So there's the Breeze Shop. Okay, back here on the sports court. And this is the Cafe Wipeout, Wipeout Cafe. This is um, Tex-Mex. So tacos and chips and salsa. So we have cheese quesadilla, chicken quesadilla, beans, pulled pork, Mexican rice, beef carnitas, tortilla, chicken carnitas, chili con carne, cheese sauce, and chips. 
So, and it seems to be a serve yourself and make your own. Delicious. So, Robert, besides pizza, where are you going to be eating on this ship? Yeah. <laughs> There's also an ice cream and soda machine up here. This should be the boardwalk. So you can come sit up here and watch the water show as well. Oh, this might be a good spot to sit and watch the water show. If you can't get reservations or you miss the reservations, good spot. So Robert commented that you can sit kind of right here and watch the big screen. Watch the sports ball on the big screen. All right, just a little bit around the corner is the putt-putt. Awesome, and then right up there are the flow riders. And right there is the entrance for the zip line and it commences right over here, or ends right over here. There are the flow riders right up there on either side. There is no abyss slide on this ship. This ship has not been amplified yet. So there's no slide back here, which we kind of appreciate. It doesn't block the view. It's still open and airy. Nice. We are back down here on deck five. Sorrento's, the pizza is included and they will make you gluten free. Let's go take a look at the Amber Theater real quick. Excellent, lovely theater. We'll be in here for Mamma Mia and other shows. So these aren't the most popular spots, but you see back here in the back, and then there's the stage. Let me show you. We really like to sit here. Um, when we come on family cruises, this is one of our favorite spots to sit. Now, if you look, you can see everything from up here. You're kind of far away but you can still see everything. It's a great spot. There's one on this side and one on that side. The two on the ends are good as well, but these are really the better ones right here in the middle. Just a little tip for you, especially on embarkation day, you can always go down in the elevators to go up. Getting an elevator to go down from a lower floor is a lot easier than getting on an elevator that goes up from a lower floor. So keep that in mind. Just hop on the elevator going down, you'll ride a floor a couple down, and then go right back up. Thank you. All right, let's see if we see our luggage also. Whoops. And 88, one more, one more, one more. There's our room right there. 12690, here's our cabin. Just a quick little zip through for you. We don't do formal room tours anymore. So let me zoom you out. There we go. There's the bathroom. No curtain. Decent sized shower. It looks to be bigger than Ruby Princess was last week. <laughs> There's our cabin. There's the closet and the safe. Nope, no USB on the sides of the bed couch, table, and we've got some spots here. That's lovely. Get dressed here. So I'm going to insert this in here into the cabin tour. I know this is a mess up here at Life of a Vlogger. So I wanted to show you, look, we have plugs here. So there's three here. And then we have one under here. So two under here. So this one and there's one here. So there's a European plug there as well. So, I mean, that's that's four, maybe five plugs. I'm not sure what this, maybe this plugs in this light here that's around the, the mirror, but uh, there are several plugs in this room, which is really, really nice. And here is our balcony. Okay, right here. How lovely, very nice, very, very nice. We wanted to talk briefly, very quickly, about how easy it was to get through this terminal right here. Super duper easy. So there's the parking right there. There's the covered parking. It is limited. We did book the covered parking. In fact, so much so that we can see the back end of our car right next to that truck that's backed in on the very end right there. That is our car right there. Oh, we got the horn, yay! 
such a deep horn wow anyway we walked literally from our car right across the street right into the terminal up the escalators and then straight through right down into it it was literally seven minutes i can't even tell you how fast it was it was amazing so there we go all right galveston we'll see you in a few days dining room this evening. Wow! There's our table this evening. Thank you. Here is my tomato soup for this evening. Delicious! Alright, here is my dinner this evening. The strip steak. Wow, that's a lot of food. And there is Robert's. Excellent! Look you guys, Robert is out deserting me tonight. That's a first. So we got ice cream and cheesecake. Look, look what Faber has. What, what is happening here? Excuse me, sir. We have a problem. <laughs> Actually, because we didn't pre-order anything, they're bringing me some fruit. It's a vegan. It has cleared out a little bit. Dinner was delicious. I am extremely full. And now we're off to our next adventure. That's pretty cool. Very busy shift this evening. I have to tell you, I, I have never, we've not been on a shift this busy. I mean, no complaint. It will settle. It just, I'm not, I wasn't expecting this. Wow. Here, I'll come in here and show you the pizza real quick. We're not gonna eat any pizza. We are not hungry. It is now nine o'clock. Aren't you proud of us? <laughs> we finished unpacking. We took a few minutes just to kind of recenter and collect our breath. And uh, now we are gonna head down, get Robert some more drink. And then we're going to go to the theater for the Welcome Aboard Comedians. So we'll see you there. Oh, here we go. Uh, All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Amber Theater for tonight's comedy showtime. And, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, we have a great house today. Let's find out who's excited to be on vacation. Yeah. My name is Corey. I have the privilege to be your cruise director. Everyone say, hey, Corey. Thank you very much for joining us on this embarkation day. I know this vlog got a little long, but we did a lot of exploring today. This is a great big ship and ha has a lot to see. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one where we will have two fun sea days all in one vlog. See you next time. Bye. Bye.